to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja and today we're going to show you how to make guacamole. It's another great accompaniment to a Mexican meal. So it's a fairly easy recipe. Let's get started. Uh, over here we have avocado and we're going to cut it. We're going to use two of them. Now this recipe is all to taste and to your requirement but we're just going to cut it. We have a video on how to cut and peel a avocado. There you go, and it just opens up. And just going to, if you're going to have to mash it up, you can just you know cut pieces over here. It just slides out with a spoon very easily. There you go. Basically, put it in the bowl. Now, avocados are, you know, known to be fattening, but it's a very good fat. It's one of those fats like almonds mm -hmm. and you know, nuts that's actually good for you. So you can feel good about eating this. So now we're going to mash the avocados with a fork so it gives a little texture. You don't want to use a blender or a food processor or a chopper. So once our avocado is mashed, um, again with a lot of texture, you don't want to mm -hmm. mash it all the way down, we'll add the rest of our ingredients. So there's a quarter of a tomato chopped, a quarter of a small onion chopped, a chopped jalapeno, chopped cilantro, a squeeze of lime juice. So a lot of these things are to taste and the jalapenos, if, they, if you don't want it very spicy but you want a little flavor, you can just de-seed them and put them, it just uh, takes care of the spice level for you. And to this we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of roasted powdered cumin and salt to taste. And just give it a really good mix. So we're going to mix this really well until all the spices and everything else is mixed in. Now one of the reasons we use lime juice, of course, you know, you can't have guacamole without lime juice because it's a very, very key flavor. Mm -hmm. But the lime, uh, citric acid in the lime juice actually prevents the avocado from um, oxidizing and turning black and yucky. So if you're going to serve this a little bit later, be sure you get that lime juice in there as yes. quickly as possible so you're going to retain that nice green color. And of course everything is, you know, to taste, so you can do your taste test and if you need to adjust anything, you can. And it's done. It was a very simple recipe, but it's so delicious mm -hmm. and it just adds uh, this dimension of flavor yes. to your Mexican fare. So, try it out. So, there's a lot of different things you can use this for. You can use it as a dip by itself or you can uh, put it in your seven layer dip, you can put it in tacos, in with Mexican pizza, mm -hmm. uh, with enchiladas as a topping on top and um, Just with also the corn chips, right? Yeah, just or, as a dip. or even like a, as a spread, you know, I just love yeah, it as a spread on a tortilla, on a tortilla or a toast. Wow. <laughs> so, we are ready to dig into our Mexican you know, meal. So this was a real must for us. Mm -hmm. So enjoy it and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.